All right, guys, here is our stunning 1989 Porsche 911 Cabriolet. The last year of these G bodies. This one here is finished in a gorgeous blue. I'm not sure if this is Prussian or marine blue, but I'll have it in the description. Beautiful Fuchs, excellent tires. The body is very straight. This car offers a clean Carfax that'll be towards the end of the video. The paint appears to be original. The top is in excellent condition. We'll have the top down here in a bit to show you guys. Again, this blue looks just beautiful, especially when the sun's hitting it. The body's very straight. There's obviously no rust or any issues of that sort. We'll be showing you every inch of this car here, so make sure to watch this video to its entirety. Uh, you guys can see the blue, how it shines in the sun. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, now we have the top down, so you guys can see the tonneau cover and how gorgeous it looks with the top off. Again, the body's just very straight. The paint for its age is very nice. I love this color very much. Tonneau cover's in great shape. Of course, the top's in good shape. We showed you that. Tires have a lot of life. They look like they don't have very many miles on them.
Okay, now we're on the driver's side. The dash is very clean. Odometer reads 113,000 miles. It's got nice cocoa mats. The electric top works very well. Again, this is a very nice original car. I don't see any paint lines here. It appears to be the original paint. 1989, the last year. And again, you got your VIN number right over there. That's so the original door. Back seats, very clean. All right, let's go through the trunk. That's your option sticker. Now, I found a lot of things in the trunk. <laughs> Underneath the carpet, I found uh, the toolkit. It's a brand new looking toolkit. It looks very nice. Looks like you never used it. It's in excellent condition. Um, more than that, we have the original steering wheel right there. You guys could put it back on if you want it. You have the compressor. And most importantly, because a lot of people like to whine, I also found the original shift knob. That's the original shift knob. It's got some wear to it. You guys could probably get it recolored, but it's right there. There's a few miscellaneous small little parts, like another gas cap and whatnot uh, in a bag. Everything, we'll, everything we have, we'll put inside the car for you guys. But all of this goes, goes with it. And this is in very good shape. The little light works there when you open it. That's about it. Okay, everything is now off of it. So you guys can see the bottom. It's very nice and clean. No rust of any kind. This is called, paint code's right there. Baltic Blue Metallic. It almost looks like some kind of pression though because it has a hint of purple in the sun but uh it's called baltic blue all right let's fire it up motor sounds beautiful no knocking no pinging it doesn't appear to be smoking Your spot welds run through here and there's no line. Uh, I don't think it's ever been repainted here in the rear. You got spot welds going through here as well. You can see the original blue. All in there. The motor presents itself very well, of course. A 3.2 liter, the last of the 3.2s.
So this car runs and drives obviously very well. The 3.2 made it with a G50. You guys can't go wrong with. It shifts beautiful. The brakes clutch feel good. The steering feels good. It doesn't shake on the highway. And you can take your hands completely off like I was earlier and it will keep going straight down the road. It handles very well. The tires are in good shape. For the most part, everything operates. I know the AC is still the old AC unit and it never really was charged. The guy said he never needed it. He always just put, took the top down on a hot day. So someone could probably try to recharge it. It may blow cold. Um, it may not blow that cold, but it blows some air out the AC and the heater works. All right, guys. Let's go through the floors. Of course, there's no rust or anything. It's California. And these these are galvanized bodies, so it's almost impossible to be too rusty when they spent their life here in California. Tires are in very good shape. The wheels are also in good shape. Now, we've been driving the car for a few days. And uh, I'm going to try to show you if there's any leaks. I haven't noticed any. go through the front of the drivers driver's side again no rust All right, guys, so here's all the records we have. These are records before he bought it from the original owner, and these are his records from when he owned it. Um, he always took it in for whatever it needed. He's pretty good about maintaining the car. We'll start off here with the original owner's manual. That's the original owner right there. The dealership was purchased at. It's been there in uh, this area right here, Southern California, all of his life. That's the option sticker, and that's the dealer was purchased at new. Go in the back here, maybe there's some, yeah, there's quite a bit. So you can see through the years, they maintained it. It has the books. I'll try to go through as many as I can here, although, of course, there's a lot of records. regular oil changes and maintenance since he owned it and it's always been at the same shop these are all old I don't think you really care too much about you know uh, going through these 
There's a bunch of them. Uh, this is a certified Porsche BMW shop. And they're copies of copies, I think. But whoever buys them gets all the records here and here and the books.